Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Vax Rapid Power 2 Reach Carpet Cleaner. And what I want to do today, first of all get it unboxed, show you some of the features and benefits that it offers. Just before I start, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, just give us a quick thumbs up. Because of the size of the box, I've just put it on the floor, just to make it easier to get the cleaner out. Anyway, so what have we got first? First of all, we've got part of the handle. That uh, looks quite, quite interesting. Uh, here we are, there's another part of the handle there. Instructions, I'm always pleased to see that the, the book is, or well, the instruction manual's pretty thin. Uh, if you follow my YouTube, you, you pretty much know that I'm not a huge fan of instructions. I quite like to often figure how, well, figure out things to do, how, how things work. But, uh, something I do comment on quite a lot when I'm unboxing these kind of products is the uh, recyclability of the packaging. And I must say, I'm just having a quick look in the box. The Vax are doing a pretty good job. Uh, we've got some polythene pack in here. But uh, overall, a lot of it is cardboard, which is always a, always a good sign. So just probably do that. We've got the hose in a really nice storage bag here. That's, uh, that's always a good idea. I always like it when they've thought about the, the long-term aspect rather than just um, you know, because things like storage is always important for things like this. Uh, they've even got a hook in it, so that's really good. I'll have a look into that in a bit more detail in a couple of minutes. What else have we got? So we've got the bin. This will be one of the bins at this very second. I'm not too sure which one this is, but I'm sure we'll figure that out in a moment. And lastly, we've got the cleaner itself. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> Bit of a struggle this. But uh, that's it, it's just caught over the pedal. So there we are, one cleaner. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put all the packaging into one side and then we can start to have a look at putting the cleaner together. So now I'm going to start to put the carpet cleaner together. And to be honest, it looks pretty easy. So all we need to do is attach the handle in the top like that. That just clicks into place. And then that just slots in the top there. Clicks into place like that, so that's done. Then we've got the clean water tank. That just needs to slot on the top like that. And then we've got the solution tank. That's the, the small one that, well, as it says, you put the solution in it before you start. That just drops in around the back. That's it. So it just clicks into place nicely. And apart from, I suppose, filling it up with water, then as far as the initial put together process, that's it, so nice and easy. So when it comes to using the carpet cleaner, all you will need to do is to lift this up, go and take this to your sink and put water in it. So just normally warm water is okay. Uh, you don't need any more than say 30 or 40 degrees. Um, so you don't need sort of boiling water by any means. Um, so you just fill that up and then pop that on the top. And then with the solution, you just fill the solution at the back. Again, you can take the bottle off if you want, uh, but normally you just unscrew it and pour the solution into there. This model also features something called auto mix technology. And essentially what that will do is that will combine the correct amount of solution and water depending on the setting. Now on this model, you've actually got two settings. And so you've got on this side, you've got the dial that says quick clean and then deep clean. So really depending, I suppose, either on the, the, the length of the pile of the carpet that you've got um, or how dirty the carpet is. Um, so if, like in our showroom here, we've got quite a, a short pile of carpet. So really something like that, I think would be okay with a quick clean option. Uh, if you've got quite a nice long pile of carpet or if the carpet that you're trying to clean is really dirty, personally, I'd recommend going for the deep clean. Uh, what you will find is that you'll clearly get more solution and water um, within the carpet on the deep clean option. So that means it will take a lot longer to dry. And what Vax are saying is when you use the quick clean option, then you should be able to get the carpet dry within under an hour, which is always brilliant, especially if you're trying to do several rooms at one time where you're moving furniture around, then you could find that doing one room, so get that nice and clean, 
go and grab something to eat, go and grab a cup of coffee, come back, and then it should be dry, which is always brilliant. And then when it comes to emptying the tank, it is easy. So you've got the, that's it, you just lift that up, and you've got the dirty water tank at the bottom, and you've got a carry handle, as it says on the back there, so that just makes life easier when you when you need to carry it, because clearly when it's full of dirty water, uh, you don't really want to be uh, tipping it up, so you don't really want to be tipping it sideways, ideally. Uh, I must admit I've not tried it that way. I'm sure with the seal and everything, then you'd be perfectly fine, but I suppose per personally, I'd want to carry it like that. Uh, when it comes to emptying it, all you need to do is just pull that, and then you take that off. Uh, this is all really easy to clean. It's all plastic, so you can give it a, uh, you know, a really good wash because all you'll find is that once you have used it, probably not so much the first time, but once you've used it several times, then you want to make sure that this is nice and clean before you store it away and dry as well. And then to put it back together, all you need to do is just clip that in at the front there. That locates at the back, that clips into place, and then it just drops back onto the carpet cleaner like that. When I first unboxed the cleaner, I showed you the bag that the hose comes in. So this is the this is the hose, and it's a three and a half metre hose. So this is a, a really good length of hose. Then the main difference between the Power 2 and the Power 2 Reach models is this. So you've got the length of the hose. So on this model, it's three and a half metres. On the Power 2, the standard model, that's only two and a half metres. Also, with this one, you do get this cheeky little tool and this is a pet brush and this is really good for um, I suppose if you've got things like pet stains then that could be really good for um, getting into the carpet to get those clean so that comes with the reach model but not the standard one and the main advantage of going for this model the model with the three and a half meter hose is that you should be able to get all the way up the stairs so all you need to do is you just need to attach that into the front so that just clips in there. There's nothing worse than trying to balance the cleaner on the stairs while you're trying to clean as well. Uh, essentially, that's really dangerous, especially with this model. Uh, I mean, it's, it's around eight and a half kilograms, so it's not a, it's not a lightweight, uh, and especially with the width of it, then for most stairs, you wouldn't be able to balance it. So I'll just show you this. So underneath here, you've got this. So you've actually got five spinning brushes, which are really good for getting deep into the carpet while it's going through the cleaning process. Um, all you need to do to take that off, just unclip that. So a little bit awkward like that, just balance it on the edge. So that whole unit comes off. Now this features something called antimicrobial technology. I think I've got that right. Uh, and essentially what that will do, it just reduces the amount of bacteria that you can get after the cleaning process. So I suppose in between cleans. So some of the other accessories that come with it. First of all, you've got this. This is called a spin scrub tool. And essentially what it will do is it will, as it says, spin and scrub at the same time. So if you have got an area that really needs a good clean, then that's probably the one to use. Uh, this is the upholstery tool. So if you wanted to clean things like your sofa, um, or if you wanted to take it out to do your car, then that's a really good one to use. That won't spin at all, not like the spin scrub. Uh, that's just got really stiff bristles on there. I'll just show you that. And then lastly, we've got the crevice tool. That's quite a, quite a standard one. Uh, or, well, I suppose on, on a lot of vacuum cleaners anyway, the crevice tool, but that's a really good one to get into, say, just things like the corner of the stairs, when you're going up the stairs. Um, some areas where some of the larger tools will struggle to get into, then having the little crevice tool is a really good one. And of course, you do get some solution with it anyway. Uh, but, so this is part of Vax's range of carpet solutions. What I should have mentioned earlier, when using the quick clean mode, I did mention that you can get the carpet dry in around an hour. Clearly that's going to depend on the, I suppose, the pile of the carpet and how dirty it was, things like that. Um, but what I should have said is that to enable you to do that, it uses something called heat blast technology. And what it's doing is it's actually providing hot air as well as a quick extraction so as well as extracting as much water out of the carpet as it can, as quickly as possible, it's actually heating, it's providing heat as well to help dry it. So if you're thinking about buying one of these models, then I've provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. Hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Vax Rapid Power 2 Reach Carpet Cleaner. Please give me a thumbs up 
on the video, click subscribe, leave me any comments below. Now I know one of the comments could be that I've not demonstrated it, uh, but to be honest, this is going into a showroom, so it's not really one I can get dirty at the moment because it will have to be sold on in the end. But if you've got any other comments, uh, whether you've come to the video to get, uh, whether you've got a question on it, then I've got it on, on display at the moment. So if you have got any questions, just pop it in the comments. Also, if you have got one of these models or a similar fax carpet clean like this, then let me know in the comments what you think about it because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.